Hey YouTubers, it's Tony with Mayberry Mini Trucks. Today we have a vehicle that we recently imported. It is a 1995 Suzuki Carry. Its stock number is S6095. It's a four wheel drive, five speed with extra low one, uh, mini truck that has 16,483 original miles, and it's $6,800 and it has a bed mat one of our other notes so uh, let's go ahead and walk around this truck and um, i'll start by saying it has a a few scrapes um, so whoever had it um, brushed up against uh, some places um, here and there and then it's got a couple of um, small dents on this on the roof so uh, let's go ahead and get started uh, so we'll go ahead and show you that it has a couple of points of impression right there nothing uh, tremendous but it doesn't affect anything structurally but it is there and uh, the antenna is intact uh, it has um, these little spots on it, they're not chips, they're just uh, marks, like uh, uh, maybe it's uh, spots uh, of paint, I'm not sure, it'll probably be able to come off if you put yourself to it. Um, as far as uh, the integrity of the body is concerned, it's in very good condition. Um, and uh, you've got the bedside here. It does have the rail caps. And the bedside is in perfect condition. The bottom side underneath, you can see the frame is, uh, that's dirt. Right there is what that is. It's just dirt from a dirt road. It's very nice underneath. In fact, let me do something here. Um, you can see the bottom of the bed looks as good as the top of the bed. It's extremely clean. Um, under here, here, just everything under, underneath looks great. The tires are in very good condition. And the wheels are nice and clean, a little dirty. Um, as far as the condition is concerned, they look great. Let's lift up the bed mat and see what's underneath. Okay, so what I see is uh, a very clean bed on the front half. The paint has flaked off there. That's all that is. Now let's pull the back side of the bed out. These bed mats have to weigh 50 pounds. They're very substantial. They're not cheap. Um, so, perfect underneath here. It's very nice. And, of course... Um, these bed sides and the tailgate fold down. Uh, so if you wanted to turn it into a flat bed, you could. The truck has been fully serviced. So we use full synthetic engine oil, 5W30. We change the oil and air filters. We check all of the fluids. We test drive the truck. We title the truck and make sure it's ready to go. Uh, Mayberry Mini Trucks is responsible for these being street legal in North Carolina. So when you take delivery, it won't have a title because that takes some time. But um, tailgate looks very nice. I'm just going to move around here. It's got some scuffs from use. That's all that is. It's not anything through. It's just from people loading stuff. Um Okay, here we do have something heavy uh, hit this right here. So you can see that that got smacked. 
Um, as far as the bed side is concerned, it looks uh, extremely good. Perfect, I would say, no dents. Um, but we, we give you a title and uh, we're responsible for that legislation. We approached the North Carolina House and Senate and testified before the transportation subcommittees, helped them draft the legislation. And uh, we got the law passed. Governor Cooper, uh, we got his audience and he signed it into law. So um, North Carolina, these are now street legal. And this is a perfect door panel. Again, tires look really good. Let's look at the front. You can see um, you can see on the uh, roof a different angle of that impression that I showed you earlier, right there, and the front of the vehicle. Looks very good. No dents that I can see at all. Let's look at the inside. The door panel looks good. Here on the pocket, you can see where it's separated a little bit from this metal reinforcement backing. So um, the pocket's not perfect, but uh, it'd still work, I would say. And the dashboard looks great. And here is the kilometers, 026529, I believe. This is a five-speed. So you can see um, you've got the regular H shifting pattern. And uh, you also have extra low one in case you want to have that granny low for an off-road application. Granny low only is uh, four-wheel drive, so there's no such thing as granny low two-wheel drive. Incidentally, you'll probably never need granny low two-wheel drive. Headliner looks great. Let's go ahead and take it for a drive. So this truck here, I think, um, would be great for driving around, doing errands, and being off-road because uh, it's four-wheel drive. Now, a four-speed will absolutely go 50 miles an hour, no problem. A five-speed will go 60. Close to 60 and um, is just as stable as any other speed. We're going to do a U turn here. We're now in third gear, and when I go into fourth, I'll show you the speedometer. Now we're in fourth, and notice how quickly it's accelerating. That's the most important thing. It shows good compression, uh, which is just an overall sign of the power of your engine. Uh, so this little mini truck runs perfectly. It has exceedingly low miles. If you're interested in this unit, uh, give us a call. I believe it was $6,800, which is a fantastic price. It's uh, normally this truck well, I'll just tell you guys, mini truck prices have been going up for a variety of reasons. One, shipping costs have increased, and um, the cost of mini trucks has increased um, coming from Japan. The cost of inland transportation has increased. Customs has become more uh, just of a difficult entity to deal with, costing us time. Uh, 
And and um, so anyway, you will see an increase in mini truck prices. It used to be this truck was 6,400 and it's now 68. But uh, it's not a big increase. We resisted raising our prices for quite some time. But um, anyway, uh, that said, feel free to call us at 336-777-9957. You can email us at sales at mayberryminitrucks.com. And you can also check out our website. Our website is mayberryminitrucks.com. Thanks for watching our video and come see us.